Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, and I'll be showing you how to create hyperlinks in Smart Notebook 10.0. There are a variety of types of hyperlinks that you can create, and they really are a great little handy tool when you're creating lessons for your students. Let me show you one of the ways. You can create a hyperlink to one of your favorite web pages. Say that you're teaching reading to your young students, and you want to do an activity on Starfall. You can simply go to the activity, Make a word. And I'm going to click up here in the address bar and, and copy it. The picture. And then I'm going to come back here to my page and simply paste. And I'll move it down here. And notice it has the address and it automatically creates a hyperlink. So when I click on this, it's going to take me to that particular activity. And here we go. Make a word. Pretty neat, huh? Ah. Mm. But personally, I don't like the way that looks. So there's a couple other options. I could put something like some words like click here. So I've got the words. And I'm going to click on that and do the drop down and go to link. And then I can paste. Just a control V will work. And the website address is in there. Now when I do that, I have a couple options. I can have that the option of clicking on a corner icon or the object. Let's go ahead and pick object. There you go. Click here. Notice when you get your cursor over on top of that, you get the little finger. It's the good finger. And it takes us straight away to the website. So pretty nifty, huh? Now, there's one other way I want to show you that I really, really like. I'm going to go back to this website here. And I'm going to make this even a little fancier by using the floating tool option. Over here on the floating tools, there is a little area capture tool. I'm going to click on that, and I am going to capture part of the website. I think I'll capture this part right here. And when I release, it automatically takes a little screenshot of that and puts it in Smart Notebook for me. Here it is. Okay, so I can make this image into a hyperlink. I click on it or right click, paste, paste, I lost my paste, got to go back. I'll go ahead and grab the URL word with up here, and copy, the I'm going to go back so you don't have to listen to that, and I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to click on the object itself, and there you go. Now, this is turned in to a hyperlink as well. So there's a wide variety of ways that you can um, create hyperlinks to web pages. Now, let me show you some other ways to do hyperlinks. Um, you can hyperlink to a file on your computer. So I have a document called Bloom's Taxonomy that I want to link to. I click on, I just typed the words there. And I click on the arrow and go to link. And this time, I'm going to choose file on this computer. And when you do that, you have a couple choices. You can just insert it as a copy of the file or just a shortcut. And if you do a shortcut, remember, if you um, move that your smart notebook file to another computer or send it off to somebody else via email, the file will no longer be attached. So keep that in mind. So I think I'm going to just show you the shortcut to begin with. And I'm going to browse. And let's see. There is my Blooms file. Click open. We'll do the corner icon just for the fun of it. And this, see, it has a paper clip on here. And when I click on the paper clip, it opens the file. Okay? So that's one way. Um, another way is to insert your file in the attachment area. So let's go over here. On, there's a paper clip over on the right. And we're going to come down to the bottom and insert. And we're going to insert a copy of the file. So again, I'm going to go over here to Bloom's Taxonomy. Hit open. And there you go. Now this will always go wherever this um, file goes, a smart notebook. This attachment will go with it. Now I'm going to remove this link here and we're going to try again. I'm just going to remove that. All right, let me show you how now we can 
click here and it'll open up the attachment that's over here. All right. So same idea. Link. We're going to in this time we're going to look in the current attachments. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to click OK. And now these this these words here are connected with this attachment right here. So very simple to do. All right, one last thing I'm going to show you is how you can create a hyperlink to another slide. These buttons I found in the gallery. I just simply did a search for buttons, and there's all sorts of buttons in the gallery that you can use. And they have the words, and they look pretty. So if I wanted to link this button, if I clicked on it and linked it to a previous slide or page, I right-click, go to Link, and I want to go to Page in this file, and then I have to know what the page I want. I think I'll click Previous Page. Okay. Now notice that I clicked um, on the corner object. Actually, this one would be better if we chose the object itself, because most people are going to want to click right on that button. Okay. Let's try this one. Link, Page in this file, Next Page object. And you can also make some neat little lessons where the kids click on, a, on the button for the answer and you can go to any slide that you have that you want and it can actually be linked to any of the slides and again I'm going to select object. So use your creativity for hyperlinks. They really make your lessons more interactive and I think you'll find them useful and actually save you time in the long run if you use them. Hope you enjoyed the video.